Hello, I'm Gavin Clark, and I'm here with the National Museum of Computing at Bletchley Park. Welcome to part two of this conversation with James Gosling on the 25th anniversary of Java. James is the computer scientist who was the founder and lead designer on Java. Java is today used in billions of devices like mobile phones and smart cars. It appears in large financial trading systems, using the airline reservation systems, and so much more. In this part, we take questions over Twitter and we hear, about, hear more about James's own personal style of coding. Uh, Manny Sarka asked us, he said, please uh, share, this is where it gets a little bit technical, uh, please share with us the good parts of small talk and C, C++ that were inherited into Java during the making of the initial prototypes towards version one. So, you know, the, 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 the thing that conceptually unifies um, small talk and, and C++ is the whole notion of object-oriented programming. Yeah, which calls simplifies which, programming, doesn't it? Yeah. It, which makes programming so much simpler and straightforward and, and all of that. And um, it originated in a programming language called Simula, um, which had been around since the mid 60s. And I was a real fan of object-oriented programming, having used Simula pretty heavily. Mm. Um, I liked it a lot. And, and so that was really, you know, one of the cornerstones. Um, from, from C++, um, one of the thing, one of the biggest things I stole was syntax, mm -hmm. right? So C and C++ were programming languages that had been around for a long time. And one of my goals was to be able to have a programmer who knew how to use C or C++ look at a Java program and say, yeah, I understand that. Um, you know, so, so inventing a new syntax for the language was, was um, an anti-goal. Mm -hmm. You know, I was trying desperately to um, appeal to what people understood. Right. Um, and that and that and that paid off pretty handsomely. Yeah. And I suppose connected to that, we have another question um, from Christine Swan. She asked, um, "As a teacher, I've always taught uh, Java as a first uh, object-oriented language. What advice would you give for school pupil learning to code in Java for the first time?" Um. I mean, there are a bunch of methodologies that, that people have. One that I like a lot that's, that was really typified by the, 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 the Blue Jay environment. Mm -hmm. um, it, I mean, it's, it's, it's a notion called objects first. So the, if you, you know, if you've got somebody who has learned how to program in C, then learning how to program in Java is a little difficult. Mm. And most of that has to do with the notion of object-oriented programming. And if you start learning by trying to understand what objects are, the rest of it comes pretty simple, right? So, um, you, you know, the, and the best way to understand object-oriented programming is by analogy to an object, you know, an object like, like a, a coffee cup, right? I've got a coffee cup, I can drink from it. But there are lots of other things that you, you know, you operate the same way. Um, and once you get the concept of object-oriented programming in your head, um, then a lot of the rest of it follows. Right. Um, and you know, the, the object-oriented part is like the usual hump that people have to get over. Okay. And then a final question. In the last 25 years, Java has overseen the rise of mobile computing and IoT. Using your crystal ball, what, challenge, what challenges do you think uh, there, are, there might be in the next 25 years? So Java at 50. Um, I mean, the biggest things really are around security and privacy. Mm -hmm. How do you build IoT applications um, where you can trust the devices around you. I mean, you can come up with pretty strong cases for why, you know, like pandemic tracing apps and a cell phone are a good idea. But how do you make it so that that doesn't turn into a way for you to be spied on? 
Mm-hmm. Um, and that's that's really the biggest challenges. I mean, there there are already a whole pile of of, of techniques for doing that. Um, but you know, there's 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 challenges that are some of them are technical, an awful lot of them are are political. Um, there are you know governments tend to have a, an, an internal conflict of interest because um, they're supposed to be representing the rights of the people, and yet you know they benefit from violating those rights. Mm-hmm. Um, so you know it's it's a it's a complicated landscape, but that's certainly what I think is the hardest problem. Okay. Cool. Not tempted to do uh, create any more languages, or are you are you happy where you are now? Oh, one and done. I mean, every every now and then I sort of do the thought experiment. You know, so so when I came up with Java, what I was trying to do was to appeal to everybody, um, and you know that made a lot of compromises. And every now and then, you know, I I think you know how would it have gone if I just worried about what makes me happy? Mm-hmm. Um, and that, that would probably make, do something that would make everybody else unhappy. But um, I know that my, my, my programming style makes lots of people grumpy. How would you um, describe your programming style? Um, dense. Um, I rely heavily on tools. Um, so if you're trying to edit my code using a, a conventional plain text editor, um, life is hard. Um, lots of people, you know, I try to I try to make uh, make it so that I can see a lot of code in one screen. You know, I don't use very much white space. I use a very functional style um it it drives some people nuts um but you know that's just me you just me just just the guy who created or lead engineer on java anyway so they 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 can put up with it i suppose yeah yeah i you know the, there there are all these um best practices documents for, for coding in in java and i violate almost all of them <laughs> On that note, I think we'll leave it there before we get into any more trouble. James, it's been a pleasure having you here this afternoon. Thanks for sparing the time on the 25th anniversary of Java. Yes, well, thanks for, thanks for inviting me.